the Confederations but, Cup coming up this weekend. TR Mexico going to concentrate on that. It's correct. in Russia, the host nation of next year's World Cup. The countries involved, the aforementioned Russia, the aforementioned Mexico, along with Germany, Portugal, Australia, Cameroon, New Zealand, and Chile, as you see there, the yep. two groups on the screen. We now welcome in for the first time CBS Sports soccer writer Roger Gonzalez. Raj, this is a really intriguing tournament. Some big name countries in here. Who do you like to win the Confederations Cup? I'm actually picking Mexico. You know, Portugal is a team that really I don't believe in too well. At Euro 2016, they were finished third in their group. They may have won the competition, but it was certainly watered down. Germany's bringing a B side, a lot of young guys. Uh, 17 players on that team are under 25. And Mexico's bringing their big dogs. I think they have what it takes. Look, maybe they overlooked the U.S. Uh, in that match last Sunday looking ahead to the Confederations Cup. But they have a really strong side, and I think it's them in Chile as the contenders, and I'm picking Mexico. Now, I agree with Raj. I like Mexico a lot in this tournament. They're going to be sending their strongest squad. I happen to like Chile quite a bit here. I think Arturo Vidal and company could potentially end up making some noise. What do you think here about the Confederations Cup? Uh, Portugal and Co. will win their group. Chile with Vidal and Alexis Sanchez will win their group as well. I have both of those teams eventually going to the finals. Now, Russia at home could be a dark horse, but I think at the end of the day, Chile will be the champion and will beat Portugal, the European champion, versus the uh, South American champions. In my opinion, the two best teams still out there. And, you know, it, it, this is a little bit of a, a, a tough one. Mexico brings their best team. Germany doesn't. Cameroon, you never know, obviously. You got New Zealand, you got Australia. You look at the big dogs, but just as we talked about the U.S., it's a really fine belching ass for the coaches to make sure that their players were talking already about their club teams, that they don't drive them too much. So it will be interesting to see how the big teams are going to approach this. But at the end of the day, the quality of Portugal and Chile will get them to the final, and then Chile will go over the hump and lift another trophy. 